A spacesuit can have many different patents and be patented in many different ways. You can file a patent for the entire spacesuit, or you could file a patent for a small component, a hinge or a restraint or a screw or a helmet. So in the case of the Apollo spacesuits, the entire spacesuit was patented as a whole, even though smaller components, most notably the helmet, the bubble helmet, was patented as an individual patent itself. One interesting patent is based on the tomato worm. The design was patented in order to capture an idea about making a spacesuit that was uh, still mobile while protecting the astronaut. And the biggest problem with a spacesuit is that it's a balloon, basically. And finding a way to allow an astronaut to operate inside that balloon was very important. The idea behind the design was that if one side of a joint contracted, the opposite side of that joint would expand, sort of like bending your knee or your elbow. That was the way to, to localize the air displacement. So when the air moved away from where you were bending your arm, it would move on the opposite side of your elbow, so where the suit was expanding. And that was the important idea that people really hadn't thought about, because usually when the spacesuits were pressurized, they get very stiff and would make it very difficult to move around. That tomato worm idea was used in um, the Apollo suits that took men to the moon. It also still exists in some forms in the current suits that astronauts use to perform EVAs outside the International Space Station. Patents are really important because that's the way ideas are transmitted. Having the patent is that final bookmark that tells people, this was my idea, and if you want to use my idea, you have to give me credit, and I welcome you to come and make it better. So you have ways for people to have these long continuing conversations in invention and innovation through patents.